If you have ever used Salesforce, you must be familiar with Apex. It is the programming language that we use specifically within this platform. And it is quite useful for customizations. Apex makes it easy to code in Salesforce, automate tasks, and even integrates in AgentForce. Hello everyone, I'm Shrey Sharma, your Salesforce Hulk. And in today's video, I'll show you how Apex can be used in Agent Force. Apex is used when complex logic or operations are beyond what flows or prompts can handle. It provides fine control and integration with external systems so that you can automate your tasks and use AI agents more efficiently. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can call Apex from Agent Force with the help of Agent Action. If you want to see how you can first build your agent, check out my previous video on the same. Let's get to it. I'll use a banking use case for this agent. And we want to do that uh, in order to uh, like calculate the eligibility of a customer uh, for the loan. We'll pass the uh, data to the agent and let it uh, provide us the appropriate response based on the uh, eligibility calculation that it is going to do. Now over here we have the Apex class loan eligibility calculator in which we have created two wrapper classes. Uh, one, is for, uh, one is to capture the request and another one is to provide the response back. Uh, and in like in the request wrapper class, we have three variables, uh, age, monthly income and existing EMI. And in the response, we have a message that we're going to pass as a response. And uh, we've also created an invocable method uh, which is going to evaluate uh, whether, the, whether the user is eligible for the loan or not. And uh, here's the logic that we've created for the same. Now in order to uh, call any method from the agent uh, for, like of an Apex class, we have to make sure that that method is invocable method or it, it's flagged as an invocable method. Now we'll create a topic and in the topic loan eligibility check, uh, we're going to provide the description. In this topic, if a user wants to apply for a loan, first collect their age, monthly income and existing EMI details. Once the information is provided, trigger the action to determine the eligible loan amount. The task is to assist users who want to apply for a loan. First, ask for their age, monthly income and existing AMI details. Once all the information is collected, trigger the action to calculate the loan amount they are eligible for. Now in order to add the instructions, uh, we'll first delete all the instructions and then add the one that we want to. When a user requests for a loan, begin by collecting their age, monthly income and existing AMI details. Once the user has provided the required information, pass the details and trigger the action. Now hit next and finish. Now we'll click on the topic that we just created, uh, which is the loan eligibility check. And in this topic, uh, we'll go to this topics action and we'll add a new action by create new action and we'll select Apex as a type. And then the invocable method as a reference action category, because we don't want to call any Apex rest uh, that we've created. We want to call an invocable method that we've created in an Apex class. Now in reference action, uh, we have check loan eligibility, hit next. Now we'll add the instructions here. This action is used to check the loan eligibility, uh, checking eligibility as the loading text. And now the instruction. You need to pass the age of the customer and then collect data from user. Should be checked. Another instruction in the existing EMI as you need to pass the existing EMI amount of the customer. And then we are going to just check collect data from user and require input. Same is what we're going to do for each of the fields uh, which are present over here as input, uh, like as, as the inputs. And uh, in the output, we'll, we'll just add the instruction as, you need to show this message to customer and we're going to show it in the conversation itself. So the message that we're going to receive from the customer, uh, from the Apex class is exactly what will be uh, displayed uh, to the customer as well. Now we'll hit, hit finish. Uh, the action has been added into the topic. I will copy the name of the action and we'll add it into the instructions of the topic at the end of the instructions of the topic, like this. We'll hit save. Now let's just try it. How much loan can I get? It's asking me for the information related to my age, my monthly income and existing EMI amount. Age 24, monthly income 45,000 and existing EMI uh, amount as 5,000. Hit enter. It's checking uh, my eligibility for loan and uh, it came out to be uh, 24 lakh rupees. And it's asking me that whether there's anything I can assist, like it, uh, it can assist me with. That was all for this demo. 
I hope you understood everything. If you still have any question, you can ask them in the comment section and I'll try to answer them. And if you need some help in building and implementing such agents in your organization, you can check out our Agent Force implementation services at Centexa. If you want to learn more about Agent Force and get hands-on experience, then you can join our Agent Force training by S2 Labs. I'll leave a link for that also in the description. In the description. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like, share it with someone who might need it, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.